What's up, you guys? We are approaching the spoiler season four. In Estrad Midnight Hunt, we are returning to that plane for the second time. This is the second time returning, the third time overall. Now, something cool about this, this will be the first time we're actually having two sets on a plane since around Ravnica, so it's been some time. We're actually going to have a little bit longer to form a story around this plane. And not only that, but we also get some commander products too. We're going to have two specific commander decks for the Midnight Hunt, and then we're going to have two more for the second Innistrad set coming out in November. And these are full commander precon decks too. These are not like the ones that released alongside Kaldheim and Zendikar Rising, where they were more like introduction decks. These are going to have 15 new cards per deck, and we already kind of know what the first two decks are going to be, Zombies and Humans. So we have a deck called Undead Unleashed, and we have a deck called Coven Counters. So not really much else left to the imagination there. The human deck is going to be green-white and centered around counters and also possibly human tribal. And the zombie deck is, you know, good old zombies. We've seen a ton of zombie tribal decks. Who knows what the colors are going to be, but if I have to guess, it's likely going to be blue and black. But before I get into the video of what I really want to talk about here, first I would like to remind you that most of you who are watching right now are not actually subscribed to the channel, so I would really appreciate it if you took a second to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I would like to talk about some things I personally would like to see from the upcoming Innistrad set here in September. The first thing I would like to see is the return to original Innistrad. Now I know this is already promised, that was the whole intention with returning to Innistrad is that you're returning to what it was like back in 2011, 2012, before the Eldrazi had anything to do with this plane. That means we're going to return to what Innistrad originally was. It's essentially like Halloween Town and the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's Halloween the plane. So you're going to see zombies, you're going to see vampires, werewolves. Very appropriate as we near closer to fall. But I personally liked that version of Innistrad better than the Lovecraftian horror of the Eldrazi having any influence on this plane through Emrakul. It just changed it. You had to kind of incorporate elements from the Battle for Zendikar block that I just didn't feel comfortable with last time around. So Eldritch Moon as a set I think kind of suffered because of that. It lost a bit of its original identity as a plane for the sake of telling this story about the Gatewatch and the Eldrazi. But it's been quite some time now, it's been five years since we were last on Innistrad. And while it doesn't feel like it to me, I think it's actually pretty soon that we're returning again. If it is more like the original time we went to Innistrad, that gives me something to look forward to. The second thing I would like to see from this upcoming Innistrad set is the Werewolf Commander option we never got before. I mean, we did technically get a Legendary Commander option in Ulrich of the Kralin Horde, who flipped into Ulrich Uncontested Alpha. But that's just simply a legendary werewolf just existing as a legendary werewolf. There wasn't any synergy with other werewolves. It was actually pretty boring, so going into the set, I know it's not going to be in these first two commander decks, but in the main set, it would be really good if we got a legendary werewolf commander that made it a lot easier to play werewolves in commander, gave you some sort of efficiency, made the decks quicker, because the flip mechanic is quite inconvenient when you do have to wait around the table for your turn. The next thing I would like to see, better human strategies. Humans are probably my least favorite tribe, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that the strategies are all over the place. There's no real common goal with humans, and even if it is plus and plus one counters, that doesn't really do anything for me. I want humans to have their own unique mechanic in the set. And this even goes back to Ikoria, when we really didn't even get much strength in human tribal then. What would really help to fortify this tribe is if you were to build on what we gained from Ikoria. But just introduce something solid, introduce an engine, even. Whatever can make this tribe more competitive, whatever can make this tribe stand out, advantage-wise, I think would be best. And the fourth thing I would like to see is for the flip mechanic to be revamped. Not completely changed, but brought back in a way that actually makes it feel like a game within the game. I think this is one of the more fun things about the recent set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, was that you had the venture into the dungeon mechanic, kind of giving you something brand new to explore, 
which does keep the game fresh. So if you were to incorporate the flip mechanic into something a little bit bigger, maybe it's a bit more relevant. We have so many flip creatures in the previous Innistrad sets that are just inconsequential. Like a lot of vanilla creatures that flipped into other vanilla creatures with maybe a couple good keywords, just very little outside of bulk. I would like to add some sort of significance to the act of flipping a creature or flipping anything in general. The fifth thing that I would like to see, introduce new or add support for other tribes. So you could always introduce a brand new creature type, there could be something like mummies, although that kind of does tie into zombies. You know, I'm sure there are a ton of different creatures that Magic the Gathering has yet to explore as a future possibility for a creature type. But even if that's not the case, you can still add support for other tribes. Spirits, vampires, humans, and zombies, they seem to be what we're focusing on this time around at Innistrad. I think it would be kind of a waste if we didn't add support for maybe some lesser known tribes like Homunculus. You could go for Horrors. And of course, there's a lot of people probably want some werewolf tribal support. But it's just something that I think new sets need to do. They need to introduce something new, and they should inspire players. You should feel like you want to build a certain deck now because of a brand new tribal option, because of a brand new mechanic altogether. And I think that really does start with being creative with what creatures you're introducing. You know, what support are you introducing? And the final thing that I would like to see in the upcoming Innistrad set here, offer something more interesting than clues. The whole investigate mechanic. I get it. Clues are card draw. If you pay less than 2 mana to draw a card, that's pretty good. So let's keep it at 2 mana, sacrifice an artifact token. But that just, that's so boring. That is really boring. The fact that we had to wait all the way to Modern Horizons 2 to find any additional support for that is funny. But we need something more than that. We need something this time around that really gets the creative juices flowing. Because going back to those previous sets, going back to Shadows Over Innistrad, going back to Eldritch Moon, there's really nothing going on here. You have Investigate in Shadows, and then in Eldritch Moon you have a lot of Eldrazi-related cards. Just a lot of filler stuff. The primary focus of those sets was trying to tell a story. But in focusing almost entirely on that Gatewatch storyline, it took away from just appreciating the plane and what it was originally intended to be. I think that's something that most fans of the plane would appreciate. And that also includes the mechanics, so you need some mechanics just to give this plane a bit more of an identity. First time around that flip mechanic was incredible. It's what most people associated with this plane. Now you have so many other sets with flip cards and it's just not really much of an identity anymore. So you need to introduce something new. You should always think about introducing something brand new because that's how you establish a new identity for this set. And that's what you need to do. I have no problem returning to these planes for the third, fourth, fifth time, but there needs to be a reason to do that. And in the future, I don't want to have to explain to my grandchildren why there's like seven different Innistrad sets that all kind of blend together because there was no design put into it to actually make it feel like its own set. So anyway, let me know what you think about the Innistrad Midnight Hunt set coming out here in September. Are you excited like me to return to Innistrad for the second time? Let me know in the comments section. As always, subscribe, like, comment, share, hit that notification bell. Void here signing off. I will see you all next time.